Coming to you live is the Auto Hub Show, changing automotive one show at a time with Ian and Jeff. And here we go. Mmm. Oh, love. What? Hello, <laughs> oh, this is Ian. And this is Josh. And I am Mara. So, Mara, maybe you can tell us what you're about. Yeah, so I am here at DSCS as one of the cyclists. Um, and I worked as a cyclist for about 10 years, and um, now I am living up in Buffalo, Wyoming, and I work for a series of a climate nonprofit that's based out of Boston. Wow. So it's a climate nonprofit. Yeah, so we, we work, um, our theory of change is really rooted in moving the largest companies and the largest investors to really think how the market actors take action on climate change, um, taking into consideration all the sort of financial and market risks. Wow, that's a, that's a mouthful. So, so do you, by chance, work with politicians? Yeah. We do some policy work. That's not my team's work, but right. we do do some policy work. Oh. Jeff, question. Um, what, uh, what influence do you think you have here with the automotive demons? Well, so technically I'm supposed to ride, ride bicycle but you never know to my what I have to say. Most, mostly I'm just here to ride bikes and have fun. You know, I can't think of anything more fun than driving cars and riding bikes. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. Well, we have to talk about that first one, which was a very special cycle. We have a lot of movement towards hybrid, electric, slash, white transportation of various types. But also, we happen to be in a country and in a in a province that has a very active uh, anti-climate change or climate uh, oh, policy, which is called a carbon tax initiative that BC has had for, I don't know, 22 years. And we have a Prime Minister of our Hatem sometimes believe that. But my question is think uh, that we can solve the policy and say I mean if I if I if I didn't think that we could solve them, I wouldn't be motivated to get up to the work that I do every single day. At the same time, it's not going to be easy, and we need to start working on it now. You know, a lot of our goals are pinned on 2030. 2030 is seven years away. And if you think about what we were doing seven years ago, it's not a lot of time. And so I do think, you know, we're not going to be able to solve it and get out of it unscathed, but I do think we still have so many options to create a better future. So. Fantastic. Well, thanks for taking the time and letting us ambush you. Jeff, any final questions? No, thank you very much. I like what you have to say, and it's, uh, it's very interesting to tie in from somebody in, in cycling and climate change. Mm -hmm. I was afraid you were going to say that if we if you didn't think we could do it, we'd be booking, uh, we'd be booking his feet on Elon Musk's uh, trip to Mars. So. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me about that guy. Don't talk to me about I that know, guy. Good people to go. Thank you so much. We appreciate you taking the time. Thank Thanks you. for allowing yourself to be here. Absolutely. Enjoy Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. It was a great show. And follow us anywhere you would like on your favorite podcast, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, and of course on our YouTube, or subscribe to our own channel.